Hello year two and welcome back to day two of Miss Trunchbull. This week we are going to be writing a character description about this horrible, horrible lady. And right now we are just reading bits of the book to um, make our plan. In yesterday's lesson we talked about who Miss Trunchbull is and her appearance, what she looks like. You made a sheet that looks like this, so this is your plan, and you took notes on who she is and her appearance. And you also went onto the Padlet to put your ideas down onto this Padlet so that you can borrow other people's ideas and other people can borrow yours. Now, because I'm recording this video, way, way, way before you're actually going to watch it. It doesn't have anything on it right now, but hopefully by the time you watch this video, this Padlet will be full of um, post-it notes from you and from other children. Today, we are going to be talking about Miss Trunchbull's personality and also how she behaves and her likes and her dislikes. So I'm going to be reading different pages from the book that have Miss Trunchbull in it. And what you can do is, as soon as I stop reading a bit, I'll let you know when you can pause the video and then you can go onto the Padlet and write your ideas down, or you can put it onto your sheet and then go onto the Padlet later. It's up to you how you do, what order you do things in. Okay, so here we go. The bit that I'm going to read now, I actually read yesterday, but I'm just going to do a bit of um, revision because we may have forgotten. When she marched, Miss Trunchbull never walked. She always marched like a stormtrooper, with long strides and arms a-swinging. When she marched along a corridor, you could actually hear her snorting as she went. And if a group of children happened to be in her path, she ploughed right on through them like a tank, with small people bouncing off her left and right. So I think there's a lot of really, really good ideas in there. So. I'm going to go to the Padlet. I'm going to show you how to do this. Go onto the Padlet. Hopefully it's going to work. And then I've already put a section that says personality and how she behaves. So I'm going to add something to that. When you do this, you don't have to put it onto your same post note. You can add a different one. So she, Miss Trunchbull never walked. She always marched like a stormtrooper. So I'm going to write that down. She always marches like a stormtrooper. I don't want that to be bold. I want to make it unbold. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to carry on. What you can do as I'm reading the story to you, you can always pause the video. And as soon as you hear something, you can as soon as you hear something, you can pause it and you can go onto the Padlet and then you can write down something that you hear. Um, or you can watch the entire video and wait for me to read everything and then you can write things down. It's up to you and how you do it. Okay. Next bit. So in this part of the story, there's a, a girl named Hortensia who has met Matilda. Hortensia is a much older student and she's kind of telling Matilda and Lavender about Miss Trunchbull. Have you met the Trunchbull yet? Hortensia asked. We've seen her at prayers, Lavender said, but we haven't met her. You've got a treat coming to you, Hortensia said. She hates very small children. She therefore loathes the bottom class and everyone in it. She thinks five-year-olds are grubs that haven't hatched yet. In went another fistful of crisps, and when she spoke out, and when she spoke again, out sprayed the crumbs. If you survive your first year, you may just manage to live through the rest of your time here, but many don't survive. They get carried out on stretchers screaming. I've seen it often. Hortensia paused to observe the effect these remarks. Oops, sorry guys. These remarks were having on the two titchy ones. Not very much. They seemed pretty cool. So the large one decided to regale them with further information. I suppose you know the Trunchbull has a lockup cupboard in her private quarters called the Chokey. Have you heard about the Chokey? Matilda and Lavender shook their heads and continued to gaze up at the giant. 
Being very small, they were inclined to mistrust any creature that was larger than they were, especially senior girls. The Choki, Hortensia went on, is a very tall but very narrow cupboard. The floor is only ten inches square, so you can't sit down or squat in it. You have to stand, and three of the walls are made of cement with bits of broken glass sticking out all over so you can't lean against them. You have to stand, more or less, at attention the whole time when you get locked up in there. It's terrible. Can't you lean against the door? Matilda asked. Don't be daft, Hortensia said. The door has got thousands of sharp, spiky nails sticking out of it. They've been hammered through from the outside, probably by the Trunchbull herself. Not a very nice place to be, is it? I guess Hugh Middleton's a pretty good school. The next bit. Matilda and Lavender glanced round and saw that gigantic figure of Miss Trunchbull advancing through the crowds of boys and girls with menacing strides. The children drew back hastily to let her through, and and her progress across the asphalt was like that of Moses going through the Red Sea with the waters parted. A formidable figure she was too, in her belted smock and green breeches. Below the knees, her calf muscles stood out like grapefruits inside her stockings. Amanda Thrip! she was shouting. You! Amanda Thrip, come here! Hold your hats, Hortensia whispered. What's going to happen? Lavender whispered back. That idiot, Amanda, Hortensia said. She has, she's let her hair grow long, even longer during the school holidays, and her mother hasn't, and her mother's plaited it into pigtails. Silly thing to do. Why is that silly? Matilda asked. If there's one thing the Trunchbull cannot stand, it's pigtails. Last bit for today. Now this is Miss Honey telling um, Miss Honey telling the class about um, Miss Trunchbull because Miss Trunchbull's about to come in and teach the class for a bit so Miss Honey is warning the class about how to behave. The headmistress is very strict about everything. Make sure your clothes are clean, your faces are clean and your hands are clean. Speak only when spoken to. When she asks you a question, stand up at once before you answer it. Never argue with her. Never answer back. Never try to be funny. If you do, you will make her angry. And when the headmistress gets angry, you better watch out. Okay, so that's everything we're going to read for today. I'm going to go to the Padlet because I want to add something to it. <laughs> Such a funny picture. Okay, so let's see if I can edit it. So likes, what does she like? Miss Trunchbull likes strict discipline. That means she's really strict. She doesn't like children doing anything wrong. Strict discipline. What does she not like? What was that thing about um, Amanda Thrip's hair? She doesn't like pigtails. Oops, the wrong font. She doesn't like pigtails. If you've noticed, I've also added some amazing adjectives. So when I was reading the book, anything that I thought that we would want to include in our character description, I've put here. You can do the same thing. You could watch my video again of me reading and anything that you hear, you can add it to the Padlet. Okay. So I don't want to add any more, so I don't want you guys to copy. So what you can do now is add to your Padlet and then also add to the sheet so that you have something to use when you write your character description and we're going to start the actual writing bit tomorrow. All right, bye guys.